Okay, we got seven o'clock. Uh, this is September 26th on board meeting, and we have six public hearings tonight. So, Ron, you give us a little bit of an overview, and then we'll have you. I have to read the legal notice first. Yes, please. I was going to just have you give an overview oh. before local law three. Go ahead. Okay. Please take notice that a public hearing will be held by the Town of Farmington on the 26th day of September 2023 at 7 p.m. at the Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425, establishing a new chapter 38 of the Town Code of the Town of Farmington for the year 2023 and accepting a local law entitled Records Management and Public Access Records. Any resident in the Town of Farmington shall be entitled to be heard upon said proposed local law at such public hearing. Copies of said proposed local law are available for review at the Town of Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425. This by resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Farmington. Thank you. Ron, we want to talk a little bit about the overall process and then Local Law 3. All right. Uh, local Law 3 uh, establishes the uh, records management, public records access rules and regulations for the town. And this came about as a result of the state making amendments in May of this year to the uh, open meetings law. And as a result of those changes, we uh, determined the need to update our code and provide for the uh, clarification of how, to how the public proceeds to um, apply for a FOIL. And it distinguishes the uh, records that are available to the public from those that are uh, in the courts uh, that are not available to the public and they go through the court system for that. So these regulations uh, clarify all those changes and hopefully uh, the town board will see that to adopt tonight. All right, thank you. And at this time, with the public here open for local law number three, is there any comments or questions on uh, local law number three from the public or online? Any questions, comments on local law number three from the public online or here in the room? Hearing none, we close the law number three public hearing. Next one is public hearing local law number four. Please take notice that a public hearing will be held by the town of Farmington on the 26th day of September 2023 at 7.01 p.m. at the Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425, regarding the adoption of a local law of the town of Farmington for the year 2023, repealing local law six of 1995 in its entirety in establishing a new chapter nine, article two, agricultural advisory committee, duties, responsibilities of the town code of the town of Farmington. Any resident of the town of Farmington shall be entitled to be heard upon said proposed local law at such public hearing. Copies of said proposed local law are available for review at the town of Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425. This by resolution of the town board of the town of Farmington. Thank you. And Councilor Cassell uh, serves on the Agricultural Board and he has a few bullets. And yeah, it's basically about the duties and responsibilities of the advisory committee. It was reviewed and accepted by the committee on June 15th this, this year, 2023. It establishes membership, terms of office, and attendance at meetings. It also defines their role advise, advising the town board and other town boards on matters pertaining to sustaining farming and protection of the agricultural soils within this town. At this time, anybody have any comments or questions on local law number four? Ron. Yeah, uh, we started with the Ag Advisory Committee having new members this year and meeting to uh, discuss their duties and responsibilities. And upon uh, looking at uh, what was in chapter nine, we found that there was two uh, provisions in there, two articles. One was the historic 
uh, Preservation Commission. The other was the Ag Advisory Committee. And upon looking at that Ag Advisory Committee uh, that was created back in the early 90s, 1992, as a matter of fact, um, that resulted in the committee asking for staff to do some research as to what other communities in New York State were doing as far as identifying the duties and responsibilities of their Ag Advisory Committees. Several copies of uh, those regulations were provided to the members of the Ag Advisory Committee. They uh, discussed them at meetings. And uh, as, as part of that process, we also discovered that there were other boards and committees that were referenced in various chapters of the code, but never uh, codulated in chapter nine okay, uh, which we felt was necessary. So we took those uh, other committees and went to town laws and, and general municipal laws and town code regulations and uh, identified their duties and responsibilities as well. So each of these succeeding public hearings tonight is a result of discovery working with the Ag Advisory Committee on the need for this uh, code amendment uh, to Chapter 9. Thank you. Anybody on the line have any comments? Um, local law number four? Anybody in the room here have any comments on local law number four? Hearing none, we'll close the public hearing, and we'll go on to local law number five. Please take notice that a public hearing will be held by the Town of Farmington on 26th day of September 2023 at 7.02 p.m. at the Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425, regarding the adoption of a local law of the Town of Farmington for the year 2023, a local law amending Chapter 9 of the Code of the Town of Farmington entitled Boards, Committees, and Commissions by adding Article 3, Environmental Conservation Board, and amending Chapter 165 of the Town Code, Article 2, Terminology, Section 9, entitled Administrative Terms, and Section 10, entitled Definitions, and amending Chapter 165 of the Town Code, Article 8, entitled Administration and Enforcement, Section 96, entitled Appointment of Conservation Environmental Conservation Board Powers and Duties. Any resident of the Town of Farmington shall be entitled to be heard upon said local law as at such public hearing. Copies of said proposed local law are available for review at the Town of Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425. This by resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Farmington. Thank you, Michelle. And Councilman Holtz has some bullet uh, points um, local law number five. Yeah, so this draft was reviewed and accepted by the Conservation Board uh, on June 26th of this year. Uh, defines requirements within the state general municipal law for maintaining board status. Uh, also lists activities and reports for the board to complete each year. Provides new administrative terms and definitions to be placed in Chapter 165, the zoning law. It defines appointments, memberships, and reviews of pending development application. And also provides for an alternative member when the need arises. Thank you, Steve. Any questions uh, at this time from um, people here in the meeting room or online? Any questions for local law number five? Hearing none, we'll close the public hearing for local law number five and we'll go to local law number six public hearing. <laughs> Please take notice that a public hearing will be held by the Town of Farmington on the 26th day of September 2023 at 7.03 p.m. at the Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425, regarding the adoption of a local law in the Town of Farmington for the year 2023, a local law amending Chapter 9 of the Town Code of the Town of Farmington, entitled Board Committees and Commissions, by adding Article 4, Recreation Advisory Board Duties and Responsibilities. Any resident of the town of Farmington shall be entitled to be heard upon said proposed local law at such public hearing. Copies of said proposed local law are available for review at the town of Farmington Town Hall, 
1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425. This by resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Brunswick. Thank you. And Councilman Martin will have some comments on the Rec Advisory Board uh, reviewed um, a draft of this uh, on August 15th, and it identified roles for the board to provide information to the residents uh, of the town and the town board um, on issues relating to sustaining, promoting, and identifying the public park lands, uh, facilities, and recreational needs of the town. Um, provides a list of the functions to be provided by the Rec Advisory Board, establishes membership, terms of office, responsibilities of the chairperson, um, uh, and response was the record advisory board members and the town recreation director. Thank you, Nate. At this time, is there any comments on local law number six, the uh, recreation advisory board? Anybody here in the room or online? One more time, anybody with any questions or comments on local law number six? For the Recreation Advisory Board public hearing. Hearing none, I close public hearing numbers for local law number six, and we'll start with local law number seven. Please take notice that the public hearing will be held by the town of Farmington on the 26th day of September 2023 at 7.04 p.m. Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425, regarding the adoption of a local law of the town of Farmington for the year 2023, a local law amending chapter nine of the town code of the town of Farmington entitled boards, committees, and commissions by adding article five planning board duties and responsibilities. Any resident of the town of Farmington shall be entitled to be heard upon said proposed local law at such public hearing. Copies of said proposed local law are available for review at the town of Farmington town hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425. This by resolution of the town board of the town of Farmington. Thanks, Michelle. And Councilman Herendine also has uh, bullet points for local law number seven. Yes, local law number seven has been reviewed and accepted by the planning board. It is meeting on September 6th. It defines administrative power provided by New York State Town Law and the Farmington Town Code. It replaces local law number two of 2001 and incorporates all the changes that have been made to Article 16. New York State Town Law. It establish, establishes the functions of the planning board and establishes membership and provides for an alternative member when needed. It directs and maintains the rule of operating procedures. Thank you, Ron. <clears throat> At this time, any questions here in the room or online for local law number seven? Any questions or comments? Local law number seven. One more time. Any questions or comments? Local law number seven, planning board duties and responsibilities. Hearing none, I close the public hearing for local law number seven and one to public hearing local law number eight. Please take notice that a public hearing will be held by the town of Farmington on the 26th day of September 2023 at 7.05 p.m. Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425. Regarding the adoption of a local law of the Town of Farmington for the year 2023, a local law amending Chapter 9 of the Town Code of the Town of Farmington, entitled Boards, Committees, and Commissions, by adding Article 6, Zoning Board of Appeals, and Chapter 165 of the Town Code, entitled Zoning, Article 2, Section 9, Word Usage, Administrative Terms, and Section 10 Definitions. Any resident of the Town of Farmington shall be entitled to be heard upon said proposed local law at such public hearing. Copies of said proposed local law are available for review at the Town of Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425. This by resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Farmington. Thank you, Michelle. And uh, I have comments uh, on the local law number eight. Zoning Board of Appeals is dear to my heart. It was 13 years on the committee, 10 years as chairman. It has been reviewed. The local law has been reviewed and accepted by the Zoning Board of Appeals at its meeting on July 24th. It defines administrative powers provided by New York State Town Law and the Farmington Town Code. It replaces a town board resolution dated July 15, 1957, by adoption of a local law amending the town code. It here, the committee uh, 
hears appeals and interpretations made by the town code officials, defines functions of the Zoning Board of Appeals to hear appeals on provisions newly enacted by New York State Legislature, it defines the term of office, filling of agencies, membership requirements, and participation in meetings. And it directs maintaining the rules and operating procedures. At this time, anybody have any uh, questions or comments on local law number eight pertaining to the Zoning Board of Appeals duties and responsibilities? Anybody here in the room? Anybody online? One more time. For local law number eight, any comments or questions on the Zone Board of Appeals duties and responsibilities? Public hearing here, local law number eight in the room or online? Ron. Yeah, before you close the public hearing, I just would like to um, summarize that these articles. Tonight, provide a description of the duties and responsibilities for the members of each of the identified boards and committees. And that these descriptions provide the residents of the town uh, documentation of these boards and provides direction, guidance for future uh, applicants to serve on these boards and committees. According to the senior planner at the Ontario County Planning Department, who I work closely with on this, uh, no other municipality has established such duties and responsibilities. And once again, Farmington leads the way uh, for the county. Thank you. Thank you. It's been uh, a few months coming. <laughs> it was a very interesting exercise. Yes, it was. So for local law number eight, there's no more comments or questions. I will close that public hearing. Thank you everybody for participating. Uh, also call this meeting to order this time. The highway superintendent is excused tonight. Uh, he is in training for the next couple of days. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Ah, please, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next item on the agenda is approval of minutes from the town board meeting, September 12th. We'll move. Which by Steve, second or Mike, the corrections. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any privilege of the floor or public concern? Privilege of the floor or public concern? Anybody online? Privilege of the floor or public concern? All right, we're going to report to standing committees, public works. Yeah, public works met this morning, right here at the same time. Um, I'll start with water and sewer at the treatment plant. Uh, Kenneth Perot has passed his grade two water, wastewater operator's exam. MRB is working on submittal for a bid proposal for clean digester two. Um, we've uh, accepted life science laboratory to do our water sampling now. Um, our new flow uh, meters have arrived. And they are now in. Uh, manhole inspections are going on in Cobblestone. Uh, they did some more inspections over on Hathaway's Corners. We discussed the Collin Road sewer repair um, and also the smoke testing and video uh, work done on uh, Do in Doehaven. Uh, let's see, Nettle Creek PRV vault. The work is almost done there. Uh, uh, the hydrant flushing and weed trimming is still ongoing. Uh, the fall arrest equipment that is now in, or no, is going to be shipped in the middle of the month, next month. Uh, the paving, paving and drainage work we discussed is going to be done at the treatment plant. They got two resolutions. We can talk about them when they come up. As far as highway and parks, um, they have their ongoing equipment maintenance. 
Um, they're finishing their last round on the roadside mowing. Uh, they're working on the catch bases and gutters and pipes of silver metal. Uh, they're also helping Victor with some more paving. Um, they're doing a lot of cutting some dead ash trees on Rushmore Road. Uh, they're doing their wedging work in preparation for next year's chip ceiling and then installing a new signalized crosswalk sign. And I believe they striped it too on Rosentia Road for our trail. Uh, they're cleaning up vehicles, getting them ready for auction. And the last round of road striping has been finished. Parks are mowing. Uh, they're field striping and grooving, and they've been restriping um, the parking lots. And mowing and maintenance and repairs are ongoing. Uh, they removed the uh, concrete here in the town park. Uh, get ready for the new uh, building to be put up. Um, as far as buildings, they are working on some patchwork at the Grange and the generator service for all the generator for the town buildings. And water and sewer should start uh, the 9th and 10th of October. That's it. All right. Thank you. Town operations. Town operations met this morning and on the tax side with grants is proceeding on schedule and within budget. Also working on amendments to chapter 123, the town code is on site waste school treatment systems. Survey the draft law for the law next month. The ad ag advisory committee met Thursday. It was productive. It was a good attendance, and we will meet again not this coming up. Oh, it was out, but we met November 16th at 6 30 um, here at the town hall. We actually got a lot of work to do in October, so we put the meeting off. Uh, the building department is working with staff and MRV on updating the site design specs. We had in person drone training complete, completed, and uh, three pass and one needed to reschedule for the test. And I'll let Dan go over some of the electrical, electric vehicle charge equipment, his report. And everything else is on file. Thank you, Mike. Um, <clears throat> reports from the town official, the supervisor. Um, Last Thursday, the Office of State Comptroller, uh, we received our annual fiscal monitoring system report. This is for 2022 year, the fiscal year obviously ending in December of 2022. In this case, the lower number is the better number for years 2020, 2021, and 2022 is listed on the emails in Town of Farmington. We received a score of zero. And fiscal stress and zero and environmental stress scores. This is the best score we can get. Park security. Town board has authorized this year for charter communications and design and install fiber optics going to our Farmbrook Park. This will help us monitor the park as we have had some damage in the playgrounds recently and in, in the past few years. Our other parks will be designed in 2024 to upgrade fiber optics uh, so we can tie in our cameras that are cutting the parts and be able to view in real time. Last Friday, City of Canandaigua Water Meeting. Uh, Dave Connie, myself, Towns of Canandaigua, Manchester, Hopewell, we met with the city manager and staff to discuss the 2024 and future funding and for all to come to an agreement in the new intermunicipal agreement that all could agree to. The result is more funding for capital projects at their treatment plant. The city expects their engineers to have a cost estimate for upgrades to the plant. And for all customers, we will share in that cost. We should see that middle to the end of October. Next year, we already know the water rate will go up between 17 and 20 cents per thousand to pay for the future upgrades at the uh, Canandaigua, not the Canandaigua, city of Canandaigua water treatment plant. Uh, reminder, cleanup days is October 13th and 14th. Recreation sponsored trunk and treat is here at the Town Park on October 21st, noon to two. Farms and Chambers again having a scarecrow contest, cost is $20. Uh, check out the chamber. Facebook page or their website. And the fall newsletter is at the printers. Should be out shortly. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, William Parks. As I said, uh, excuse tonight, town clerk. Uh, yes, so I'll be officiating two marriages this week, one Thursday, one Friday. Also, the Ontario County Municipal Clerk Association will have a meeting tomorrow at the landfill. Uh, Sarah, my deputy, will be attending for me. She's excited to go get a tour of that, so she's going to go do that meeting for me. Um, I'd like to thank Dave Conti for approving the purchase of a new date and time stamper that we desperately needed. Ours has been broken for a while, and uh, we've been, you know, doing the best with it. So thank you very much, Dave. That's it. Thank you. Water and sewer. The North Road water project is nearly complete. The uh, Cut and caps were completed, separating the new line from the old line yesterday. All the services are done. Yard restorations are done. Binders in the driveways and all the affected properties, about 30 to 35 of them. Um, the only thing remaining is the final paving and removal of the hydrants and the old line. And I will say that Based on the lack of phone calls I got from homeowners, I would highly recommend us using that company again. It's very efficient, did an excellent job. Very good to work with. And the only complaint we had was after the whole water line was in, they started doing the services on a Monday morning at seven o'clock and the traffic backed up going to and from the school. Oh. And so, you know, we called them Monday afternoon and said, hey, don't start till 7.30 and it's been fine since. They, they, they have done a great job. Yep. Thank you. That's all I have. Building and zone. Okay. Um, I will give an update about uh, the charging stations, also the clean energy committee, our community that we're a part of. Uh, obviously, one of the things that that uh, group is looking at is charging stations. Uh, we've been working with the planning board, obviously bringing that uh, to any projects that come into town, trying to have them put in charging stations as well. Uh, one of the biggest things uh, coming out of New York State is uh, to have these at the municipal parks uh, so that people can enjoy the parks and be able to charge their vehicles. Uh, this board, I presented a um, project to over a month ago that I've been working on for many months. Uh, and we were awarded from RG&E uh, some funding that uh, is the first step in, in moving forward to make this a reality for the town. Uh, so tonight I'm looking to see if we can accept that funding to use in 24-25 and uh, continue looking for more grant funding uh, with the company that we've been working with. There is another grant out there that could... Uh, the town might be eligible for to help with this project as well. And again, this project would put charging stations in all of our parks. Very good. And it, you, you were able to talk to both committees this morning. Um, we, we know the second grant will be a long shot, but we'll still put in for it. If, if we don't get that grant, the estimate is around $91,000, $92,000 the town would expand. Uh, talked with our county today. We could use a bit of a lot of return on money for that. It's late 24, early 25, depending on all the engineering and everything that we hear, when we hear from the second graders. One more letters, any problem with proceeding? Okay, okay. And this was 90% of the so, so yeah, RG&E uh, with Charge Ready New York program, uh, we, we applied for 100% uh, due to some of the uh, not being in a low income area. Uh, they approved us at 90% of the equipment. So the additional costs of that 91,000 that the supervisor's talking about would be the install uh, costs. So. Oh, yeah. So uh, thank you. Um, these would be level two chargers. Uh, so that's right in the middle. Um, we're not talking level threes. The level threes are the superchargers. Uh, those are more found in hubs uh, like Eastview Mall. Those are level threes. 
uh, what the, the state's recommending is a level two for the parks and everything. So if you're there for a few hours, you, you still get a decent amount of charge, uh, but they're still faster than like a home 110 plug charger. So it's right in the middle and that's the recommendation for these uh, clean energy communities. Very good. That's Thank fun. you. Yeah. Any more? Certainly our next uh, meeting has the Fowler three lot subdivision on it. <clears throat> Planning board's in the middle of determining if we have a complete application to be able to address the environmental issues. Um, so we could do a seeker. And then once we once we determine it's a full completed application, then we can send it off to county. We can then make some determination. Then for the back to the zoning board of appeals for their review, it's just one of those projects that is going back and forth and a lot of pieces to it. So we have a, an application that we're reviewing for completeness and we'll go from there. So that's what our next video will be about. Very good. Thank yep. you. Ron, director of planning and development. Okay. Uh, I've been informed that this week we will be receiving a new application for development of the former water park site on 332. It's approximately, I think, around 80 acres of land over there, um, south of 41, north of the state police barracks. We also have uh, a um, among the 13 resolutions tonight, a uh, local law number 10, for the amendment to the Redfield Grove incentive uh, rezoning project to uh, consider. Uh, Bill is going to talk more about the Brickyard Road tank process and the moving along of that. We will be uh, next month uh, considering farming the market centers rezoning and the town operations report uh, has been filed on the town website. Today. So, uh, any questions, please let me know. Thank you, Ron. I'm an engineer. Okay, thank you. Um, just a couple items to follow up on. Most things have been covered. I think uh, the flow management plan that the town is currently uh, undergoing for DEC, we did receive the new flow meters. Um, so, we'll be um, setting up a new meeting with all parties to develop a plan to install those meters as the next step. We also have found a couple small pump station um, tributary areas that may have some INI. So we'll be talking about potentially smoke testing in that areas, those areas. So we're making a little progress there. Um, Brickyard Road Tank, as Ron mentioned, we're getting close to uh, being ready to bid uh, that project again. We are targeting around the end of October to have plans and specs available to bidders and then targeting around the end of November to open bids. So uh, that'll be upcoming. Um, and then the pavilion project, uh, there's been some correspondence going back and forth uh, with the contractor on some alternatives. Decision was made to stick with the original design um, and the in intent. So. Um, they intend to do concrete this fall, and hopefully we have materials and a building coming uh, for the pavilion in the town park this spring. Great. Thank you. Sister, Donna. So um, all but one of our small claims here in Clinton Health, they all went pretty well. I've got two <laughs> decisions. One of them... Right prior to the hearing, the owner and I got together and we agreed to settle um, by lowering it like 20000 The second one, the property owner wanted an assessment of 327 The assessment was 426 and the hearing officer wasn't at 426 So we still have one more to do. We haven't heard when that one is. Um, and waiting on the other decisions. Um, hopefully by the end of on um, the age exemption, the senior exemption, New York state law has changed. I'm still wrapping my head around it. Um, but I'd like to hopefully by the second board meeting in October, 
do a brief presentation on the senior exemption and, and some options the town may have. I'm hoping to have it done, the presentation done by the second board meeting in October, if not the first one in November. Um, we've been getting a lot of calls and people coming in. There must have been something on the news of the star credit versus the star exemption. So we've been receiving a lot of phone calls and stuff on that. We've been pretty busy, but that's all I have. All right. Thank you very much. And on the recreation side, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Mark King, just want to remind everybody that Trump and Tree is here at the Sun Park on October 21st, noon to two. And the holiday park party will be December 8th, 6 to 8 p.m. in Montessori Park. Communications are on file, reports and minutes are on file. And we'll go to resolutions. First one's a resolution authorizing the water sewer superintendent to purchase two caterpillar excavating buckets for the Cat 310 excavator and cost not to exceed $6,075. We'll move. Second. Wish my Steve, second by Ron. Comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Good luck, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Is anybody any objections to blocking two, three, and four? Hearing none, uh, two, three, and four are resolutions for two year maintenance bonds with A and D development and a two year maintenance bond with SB Ashley and Hathaway's Corners. First one's $3,918, second one's $4,308, and the third one is $38,324.85. And a motion, please. Second. And second around and second by whoever. Mike. Mike? Okay. How much questions on resolutions two, three, or four? Here you go. All in favor? Aye. 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 By the resolution declaring the slightest equipment from the town supervisor's office as sur surplus, so it may be disposed of at auction or discarded. So moved. Second. Wish by my second by Nate. Again, we're, we're getting ready for uh, no county bid and auction time frame. And like some of this stuff, it's electronics component that will just get turned into the regular electronics system. Turn it. And I have a motion to second. Any comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Six is a resolution accepting a four year maintenance bond from AD Development State Development Corporation. So moved. Second. Again, this is a, another Ivory Drive, Section 7N of Auburn Meadows for $3,640. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Seven's another resolution accepting a four year maintenance bond with AMD development. This is our redrive section 8N, and the total dollar amount is $3,920. So moved. Aye. Wish my mind is my run up. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Block 8, 9, and 10. Aye. Any objections to blocking 8, 9, and 10? Okay, hearing none, there are resolutions for budget amendments. Uh, first one's appropriated fund balance uh, in the sewer site, the chemicals, and the UV contractual. Second one is transferring money from interest and earnings to unallocated un insurance, only in highway administrations. And the third one is operation of a budget amendment, transferring money from appropriated fund balance highway to engineering highway and general road capital outlay. First one is $65,000. The second one is $27,000. And the third one is $41,000. That was second. First and second. Any comments, questions? Anybody second it? Pardon? Mike did. Mike did. Okay. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. 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 Block 11 through 16 with the local laws? No. Okay. 20. <laughs> Unfortunately, local laws you had to be 47. All right. Um, okay, so number 11 and this local law number three records management and public records. I'm moved. Second. What's my name? Second. Steve. 
Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, this resolution will go on number four. That's the Agricultural Advisory Committee duties and responsibilities. So moved. Which my mind is at my round. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 13th resolution is an adoption of Local Law 5, and that has to do with the Environmental Conservation Board. So, which my name, second by Steve. Comments or questions on that one? All in favor? Aye. 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 14th resolution adopting Local Law number 6. And that's uh, the boards and commission of the Recreation Advisory Board. So moved. Second. Mr. Steve, second by Mike. Any comments on this resolution with the Recreation Advisory Board? We'll go on to six. All in favor? Aye. 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 15th is a resolution adopting local law number seven. This is for the boards and committee to the planning board duties and responsibilities. Okay. Wish my round, second point. Comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 16th resolution adopting local law number eight. This is for the zoning board of appeals and reason responsibilities. I move. Second. Wish my name, second my mic. Again, any comments or questions on this one? Three none. All in favor? Aye. 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 17 requires a roll call vote. This resolution authorizes acceptance of utility easement for property located at 1120. I'll move. Second. Motion by Steve. Second by Mike. Roll call vote. Supervisor Hillsby. Aye. Councilman Bowerman. Aye. Councilman Yandy. Aye. Councilman Cassell. Aye. Councilman Holtz. Aye. Push and pass. Resolution 18 in London. Uh, this is accepting the draft local law 10 of 2023, amending local law 5 of 2015, involving the redesign and remaining lands located within the portions of phase three of Redfield Grove and Senate zoning project, and further involving lands fronting and along the north side of Route 96, State Route 96, east side of Commercial Drive, classifying the action under provision six of the New York. Uh, CRR Part 617.4 and 5 of Article 8 of the State Environmental Conservation Law is a Type 2 action directing the submission of said actions along with attachments here to the Ontario County Planning Board for the review on October 11th meeting. Scheduling a public hearing of the said local law will be conducted here on Tuesday, October 24th, and directing the publishing and posting of the legal notice for said action. Motion, please. Where's my mind? Set my name. Comments or questions? Basically, this change in the incentive zoning is the builder is actually reducing the number of buildings by one. The buildings are a little bit bigger, and the parking has been rearranged. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nineteen is resolution operating the town supervisor signing an agreement to hire Kennedy mechanical contractors. This will provide his fire inspection service for five years at the town court and highway buildings at a cost, cost not to exceed thirty two hundred dollars per year. So, wish my name, Second Ron. Again, the highway superintendent reached out to Kennedy Mechanical. Mm -hmm. Davis Homer and Landon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Want to use the abstract 182023 to pay uh, the bills. General fund $100,588.98. Highway fund $39,697.37. County Road 8 water line, $20,875. North Road Capital Project, $256,155.44. On the park improvements, $4. Water tank repair, $8,965. Storm drains, 
$3,909.79. Lady and District, $1,613.56. Sewer District, $87,131.41. Water District, $30,062.67. Payroll deductions, $8,672.94. For a total abstract will pay the bill $557,976.16. Motion in the second. So moved. Second. Motion by Ron, or motion by Mike, second by Steve. Any comments, questions, abstentions, changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, tonight we have no training on $100. Listed, we had no topics for discussion, no waiver of rules, no budget section. Is there anybody at this time online or in the room? Any other comments or questions for the town board? All right, just uh, as a matter of fact, the 2024 budget progression is online and we will have the second meeting in October will be the public hearing for the 2024 budget. This time I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second okay. my name. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Take care, everybody. Easy.